Hey guys, welcome to Kim's Creation. Today uh, we are going to be making a puffy zebra and I just got back from uh, four wheeling and I wanted to use up the, the newspaper before someone takes it on me. Uh, so I gave you paper so you can take your sheets of four sheets of paper you can tape them together and then that will be the inside of your zebra. And then you're gonna tape another four pieces of paper and that will be the top of your zebra. Or if you are like my house, we get these newspaper articles all the time. I think they're like want ads or things like that. This is a great thing to use the puffy zebra with. But just in case you didn't have any newspaper at home, I provided you with some paper. It's so simple to make anything puffy. Uh, so you can kind of make it come alive. Um, so what you do is you're just going to take your newspaper or your four sheets of paper, which will then end up turning into eight sheets of paper. And you can make this as large as you want. Newspaper is also great if you're making a pinata. And a pinata, all you need is water and flour. That is it in newspaper. and. You pretty much just take a balloon, blow it up, wrap newspaper around the balloon with the flour and water, literally just dunk in the newspaper, flour and water, and you just keep building until you get your shape that you want. Um, just a FYI. So I took two pieces, that's all it is. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out, where are my scissors? See, everybody's taking all my things had it all set up for after my thing. Hmm. Just one second. Let me um, quickly go snag my scissors. Where are they? Oh, I know where they are. Just a second. found them. Somebody was using them. All right. So you just take your pieces of paper and you want to go a little bit larger because what you're going to be doing is stuffing it. And when you stuff it, um, you need a little bit of space. So this is our zebra one. So I am going to, you know, just kind of like cut out the, the shape of a zebra, whatever shape your zebra is going to be. You can cut it out so you can marker it out if you want which I, I guess I'll do that and basically it's just you know a long back give it a tail give it some legs and I'm gonna just put my legs literally right down to the end give it a belly give it another front leg and then come front right to the end and then the main the little rectangle for the mane. You're going to give it an ear, a head, down to a snout. Voila! I don't know if you can see it, but there's my zebra. And all you do is cut it out. That's it. So we're just going to give this a quick cut. Oh, sorry. When you're cutting it out, you want to make it so it's a little bit wider than uh, what you drew. So um, about a half an inch wider than it. And you'll understand why in a minute. So your cutout does not have to be really the shape of your zebra. You kind of are just going around the edges of the zebra. Um, when you make the puff, that's what will end up designing your zebra. So I'm gonna just give you an example on how I'm not really cutting out the zebra. I'm just going near, and if the pages aren't cooperating and they're not like staying together, that's okay. So I just wanna show you. As you can see, this doesn't really look like a zebra. And see my line and see how much I have left over? That's okay, that's what you want. Um, and the reason why you want that is because when you're doing the real um, puffing of it, you're, you're going to need that extra paper on the edges. So we're just kind of doing a basic outline of what I drew. And again, you do not have to 
it doesn't matter if the paper doesn't stay still. And this is a great way of reusing materials that are just lying around your house. And you're like, what could I do with that? You could do so many fun things with uh, just random things that are sitting around your house. And you can turn them into glorious things. And like I said, now you know how to do paper mache um, or how to make your own, um, what do you call that? A pinata, which pinatas are just paper mache. So now it's easier to work with. What you're gonna do is stuff it. You're like, stuff it? How do I stuff it? And I'm just gonna turn my zebra so you don't see my drawing inside like that. So you can't see my drawing. Um, actually, you know what, for the video, I think I'll just have my zebra on the outside so you can see my lines. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, oh, I want to just fix this tail just a tiny bit. I want to definitely know if there's a tail there. <laughs> huh, so here we go. Time to stuff it. What you're going to do is you can use staplers, but um, I don't have a stapler. So I'm just going to literally use tape. The tape is what's going to give you, or the stapler, is what's going to give you the design that you're looking for. And if you're using a stapler, it is a lot easier. And all you would do is just staple along your line. And that's what creates that great puff. I don't have a stapler. So what I'm going to do is just fold along my lines. Because you have to create this puff part. So if you can see, I'm just folding it across my line. And then what you're gonna do is just put the tape over that. And we're gonna stuff it with newspaper. But let's just say you wanted to have maybe like a, a party with your friends. You could actually put things inside this. So it would be like a mini pinata. I mean, you have to be very careful because it would rip easy, but hey, how easy is that? And all you're gonna do is just keep going along your lines and just folding them in. And if you're having a hard time maybe following your line because it st starts to turn, you can just do a tiny tear and then the paper will work with you better. And then all you do is you just keep taping along these edges. So now I'm down near the tail and you just want to keep going down and I use this first and then I fold the back in after just like so Ugh, let's tape it and if you don't want to use a lot of tape I don't under I don't blame you so you can actually just fold that piece so now because really you just need enough to fold over the edges creating that pucker which will give it that, that puffy look. And it reinforces the edges. Again, if you have a stapler, so much easier. Um, but I don't have a stapler, so that's a-okay. I'm just utilizing whatever materials I have. And the materials I have are tape. So now I'm creating this lovely little tail. Oh my goodness, it's so cute, it's my little tail. So because the tail is all by itself, I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna stuff the tail. Um, Cause if you tape it all up, you might not be able to get to the tail. What we're gonna do is not stuff, we're not gonna um, tape up the belly so we can stuff things in. So you just take the leftover newspaper and you're just gonna stuff it down into the tail be careful that you don't rip anything. So you might have to kind of play with it, kind of work it in. And the great thing is if you do rip it, hey, you got tape. Just tape it. I'm trying to get it right into that end. Look at that. I've got a tail. Oh my goodness, I love my tail. All right, back to folding. So here we go. I'm now gonna close up that end of the tail because I just stuffed it. I love making puffy designs. 
because you can make things come alive. Um, you know, you can just take your paper and you can do this on paper. So let's just say you want to make the sheep pop from your, your white piece of paper. You could even make your zebra pop from the white piece of paper. All you do is the same thing, but instead of cutting the other paper, you would just leave the cutout of the animal on top and then you could staple it to the paper or tape it down to the paper and then you just stuff it in. Voila, you have got yourself a puffy a puffy animal on your paper. Or let's just say you want the tree trunk or the tree to come alive. You just take a piece of paper in the shape of a tree trunk. Then you do the shape of the top of the tree, staple it down, stuff it in, and then you can draw the rest of the things um, on your picture. And what happens is, is you kind of get like a 3D effect on your paper. It's, uh, it's something I, I like to do. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. And the good thing with, with this is if you're finding that, oh, I didn't fold it very well, that's okay. Um, you can just fix it as you go. And then, again, art is all about however the artist sees to do his art or his or her art. And um, you can really do anything you want. Oh, I love my helmet. It's, it's a really comfy helmet. Um, seems like it might be heavy, but it's not. And the funny thing is, is my head is so small. I have a child size helmet. Yep, child size helmet, which is kind of funny. Um, so when you, when you decide to do, if you ever have to get helmets, it's really important that you go to the place and get them properly sized for your head. Uh, they should be able to not move when you shake your head. Um, there's all these different things. You do this with your fingers. Uh, they check to make sure does it come down on your chin right. So helmets are very, very important to um, get them sized properly. And we got our size properly when we got our four wheelers. So you can't just randomly just go pick any helmet that you want. You really gotta make sure. And as your head grows, you gotta change out your helmet. Um, so, ugh. um, a lot of you have done climbing, so as you know, helmets never go down on their top. They always sit nicely. So, I'm gonna, whew, a little hot, I'm gonna undo my helmet. I can't believe the rain has, subs hasn't, it hasn't started to rain yet. Whoo, yeah, so just gonna put my helmet down, remember like this, never on its head. I always put it down nicely. Whew, whew. All right, so I'm gonna stuff my leg now uh, because I'm starting to close everything up and it will be really hard to get to the leg if, <laughs> if you don't stuff it first. Um, and I, I'm just stuffing it with uh, recycling stuff that I had around the house. Again, you could stuff it with um, anything. Um, but I prefer to use recycling stuff that was going to um, that was going to get put into the um, trash anyways for de to decompose. But if you were doing this for like your, a party or something or a sleepover and you wanted to get creative you could definitely um, put some hidden treasures in there and that would be really fun. Oh, here's, this is the situation. So right here, I can't really bend it. So I'm just gonna do a tiny, just a tiny rip, just a tiny rip. And now I'm able to get that bend in uh, that I wanted for this puffy zebra. And again, just for just turning in the edges. I'm gonna show you what a puffy zebra would look like on uh, on a, a, on a piece of paper. Look at this, it's coming alive. I'm gonna stuff the back side here. And again, you could stuff it all at the end. I just find it's a lot easier to see the zebra and kind of see it come alive as you go. Maybe I'm just a little impatient and I, I wanna see my, my work of art right away. 
And you don't need a lot of puff in there. You just need just enough to um, make it puffy. And if you had material like an old t-shirt or anything, uh, you could actually puff up another t-shirt. And what you do is just use the remnants of your t-shirt to um, make it puffy like a stuffed animal. Like if you, if you don't, don't have the ability to sew, you could make it puffy that way, which would be fine. Again, it's just, you know, utilizing things around your house that you have that we're going to be thrown away anyways. And it you can use that as your pieces, you know, works of art to, to practice. I know that's what my boys did. Um, my son, he, he is going to be an art teacher and he thanks me for things like that because he's like, yeah, I would just go around the house and we were getting rid of it anyways. And it allowed him to be a lot more creative. Ugh. Look at this. It's really starting to look really good. Mm. I think I'm just going to close up the belly since I'm working my way that way anyways. So I'm just going to... Mm. Close up my belly. Like so I'm trying to give it a leg. There we are. There we are. There's the belly I was looking for. And you might have to rip the piece of tape too to get those better angles. See how to rip the tape to give it that leg look. And then when you're you're done with this. Um, you know, you could keep designing on it. You could put googly eyes on it if you if you want um, your zebra to look like it's got eyes. You can um, oh, for the mane. You could take some of the yarn, and all you do is just tape it on and then let it stick up. That would be really cute, wicked cute actually. And I find it's best if you. Crumple up the newspaper and stuff it in. Just like so. Mm -hmm. It's starting to really look good. Yeah. There we are. I'm on the other leg. So, ugh, there we go. Let's get this zebra. Good. really starting to come together nicely and it still hasn't rained this is great it's letting me get my project done Ooh -ooh. and if you were to use staplers um you would definitely be like chick, 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 chick. you'd probably want to have the staples kind of close to each other so none of the stuffing uh, falls out obviously you don't want any of that stuffing to fall out and close up this leg it's looking really good Whew. you don't realize how long this takes just to i'm gonna put this i'm gonna make it long so i don't use as much and i'm gonna put it inside that leg right there now you can put a lot of stuff in so it can be really compact and nice and hard if you want. But I like mine kind of soft and squishy. So for me, I'm just putting enough to give it a little bit of a puff. But I know my kids used to love to really pack in that stuffing. Ugh. And again, if you don't have any new super at home, you um, you can use toilet paper. Um, and if you know you're not going to be keeping it very long, you're just going to play with it for the day. You could stop, stuff your socks in it if you're just playing with it for the day. Uh, that would be fun. <laughs> you run around with your socks stuffed in here. Um, that way you know where your socks are, which is kind of funny. You're like, Mom, where are my socks? 
You stuffed them in the zebra the other day, remember? Oh yeah, thanks. Um, and it's a good way of, I guess, holding your, holding on to your socks and knowing where they're at. But you don't have to have really much. I'm gonna stuff it in there because we're getting close to the. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner like that. Yeah, stuff right in there. Now we're at the head part. This can get a little tricky trying to really make it look like a zebra. <laughs> Okay, going around and trying to do the nose now. Um, there we go. I think I'm going to just need a little bit of stuffing in that snout so you can really see this nose. Kind of like what I did with the tail. I really want that nose to really pop. So. And do a little whipping so you can see the outline of the head like so. I used to make these all the time when I was really little um, with my friends. We would make things like this. The other thing you could do is you can just take newspaper, wob it up, and you can just wrap it up and it makes a great hacky sack. Uh, that was another thing I used to do with my friends. We take newspaper and turn them into balls. So you don't really need to go to the store to get all these things. So you can do things that are right from your house. I mean, you can use a rolled up um, sock to make a ball, but it newspaper bounces a lot better. And you can have a fun game with your friends. Or you can do any just do a hockey sack. Look at this, I'm to the ear now. And let me just finish off my zebra's ear. There we go. Fix my zebra's ear. I cannot wait to see what your guys' zebras look like. And I don't have any googly eyes looking at this moment. So I'm just going to give it a nice big eye and then give it some zebra stripes. That's a good thing about zebras is there's no two alike. So you don't have to worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. And again, look at that. My zebra! Ah, healthy! So, if you were to do it on, say, like a white piece of paper, you'd obviously make this a lot smaller. And then, that's it. You just put it, you just put one piece of paper on top, stuff it, tape it down, and then draw your scene around it. How cool is that? My zebra's running. Run, zebra, run! Oh. And that's it for your zebra. Alright. Have fun, and maybe you can make some other animals and you could have a show, like a little puppet show. How fun would that be? All right, that's it for Kim's creation. Have a good one.